My name is Blake, and I'm going to be taking her hair to rose gold uh, type on the ends. So first, we're going to be bleaching with a store-bought bleach kit, too, that I mixed together. Um, with bleach kits, it's kind of a mystery on what developer or volume is in there. That's why today I'm trying these out to see how well these work. That come, they come with these kits that you can find at Rite Aid or Walmart. Um, throw these away. I don't even know. I guess these are just for painting on the bleach. You really want to get either a paint, a paint, hair paint brush or a tint brush because we're going to be highlighting and these are highlighting kits. And then we got a rose gold kit. And it seems to be medium brown. So we're going to see how well this works as well. Um, I just finished giving her a haircut. Before I bleach, I usually do a haircut so that the ends don't get, um, the, the ends that were already bad don't get worse. Because bleach does make your hair dried out. Um, over here, we have her hair cuttings <laughs> that I haven't swept up yet. But we only took out about three inches because she has nice, long, uh, brown virgin hair. So... We're going to start. Okay, so now, um, if you don't have a lot of clips, because I'm pretending that I'm not a cosmetologist, so I would take a little clip that I would buy from the store, then I'm going to section her hair into four parts, putting a back towel over her instead of a cape. <laughs> now, if we were in a salon, you'd do a towel, cape, towel, because it is a, um, that's the kind of procedure, but if we're pretending that this is just an at-home, uh, then I would Okay, now um, I'm pretending that I'm not a cosmetologist and then I'm just doing this at home. So I found a little clip instead of a butterfly clip that I would use. And I clipped up her two sides um, and then I'm going to part her hair into four sections. So I'm just parting her hair down the middle and I'm going to put this side up into my clip because I'm pretending this is totally at home. Uh, something you will need is a butterfly clip or another clip that you might have because I am using foils. Now, if you don't have the ability to go to like a Sally's uh, and get hair foils, you can just buy tin foil from the store and cut them into about one foot or a half foot sections, depending on how long your hair is. I mixed my bleach from my little bleach kit, and now I am going to take the first section. Now, with bleaching, you always start from the back because if it starts to over process and the hair starts to get a little too white or pale then you're going to want to be able to wash it out and it's going to be harder to wash it out in the front easier in the back so i'm going to take a if you don't have a comb like this you could i guess use a normal um hair cutting comb but i have a i have a teasing comb so i'm going to take my foils i put it like this comb it over. That way I can lift up her hair and package it down. Now before I do that, because I am doing a balayage, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tease it because she wants a balayage that goes farther down. So I'm going to take my brush and I'm just going to tease her hair up about two times comb it out a little bit, tease it up, and if you'd like, you can take another comb and indent it in her hair. Go back to our foil, and foil it down like that. Then I'm going to take my tint brush, or whatever brush you got at the store, I'm going to take some of my bleach, and just start to apply it on the hair. Now, on the hair, it should look like toothpaste because bleach does not lather. So a little bit usually won't go a long way and you'll need a good amount. Make sure you lather it up, get every single piece. Gonna to want to put it down halfway, crease it over, down another halfway, 
and then release this down here when we made that little bump so that her scalp can't touch the next piece. Comb it over and get your butterfly clip to clip it up. And that'll be the first part. Every other piece and then I teased it up so that it would all fit in together because I am doing a sort of highlighting balayage. Um, just kind of a made my own thing because this is just what I wanted her hair to look like. Is I wanted it to be kind of like blending in, almost like somebody just cascaded her hair with pink. But uh, a thing you need to know about bleaching is you need to test it. So it says on the, it says in the package this needs to sit on her hair for about 40 minutes. Um, I'm going to look, when you wash out the bleach, this is going to be yellow, um, because it should look white with bleach on, because when it looks white with bleach, then it's going to be yellow when you wash it out. If it looks yellow with, ble with bleach, it's going to be orange when you wash it out, because the bleach just makes it look like that. So I'm going to let these sit. I'm going to go around her head and see if there's some pieces that are going faster, um, because that's something to consider. Different parts of your hair would go faster. I'm just making sure I shouldn't wash any pieces out because I don't want her head to overprocess. Yeah, those are looking nice. I'm going to leave them on a little longer. The pieces in the front, I'm checking. I just laid them on and I pieced them a little in. Yeah, those look nice. And I'm just making sure. It's kind of like a test, a test. You're making sure that they're all perfect. Of course, her ends are going to be lightened the fastest because I put them in um, these. If you were just free painting, then you would probably see them process all together. But because I put them in foils, the processing is going to be a million times faster. Um, there is no need to put a hair dryer on these because what that's going to do is that's going to dry out your bleach and that's going to stop the bleach from working. So if you wanted to do anything with bleach, if we were doing a full bleach on our hair, I would take a hair cap, I would spray it with some water, just a little, uh, put it on her head, put her outside if it's cold, I put her inside on a heat lamp, or I put her next to somewhere that's warm, not a blow dryer usually, somewhere that's going to heat her up, because that's going to make a steam, because we want the bleach to be steamed. So, um, in a few minutes I'm going to wash it out, we'll see how it looks. Okay, her hair is bleached the same all around. All right, okay, I just fully did her hair. As you can see, it's very bright. Um, she had virgin hair, so this lifted exactly how much it should have. Um, so it looks really nice. It really lightened up the way we're going to, and now I'm gonna go wash it up. All right, come on. how it turned out. You can see in her hair that there's those little highlights. In person, they're a bit brighter, but on the camera, I bet they're going to be a little darker. And if I go throughout her hair, they're pretty standard. They're not skunky, which is where you have random streaks that are thicker, I wouldn't say. Um, near the front of her head, you can tell I went a little lighter, because that's how it would really be. So, now I am going to take this pink, and I'm just going to take a hair-free painting brush, which is just a brush that would be a little thicker. And I'm just going to lather it on her hair because her hair can only, these will only process on the, the strands that were bleached because the rest of the hair isn't light enough to be colored. So I'm just going to lather this through her hair and just hitting all those spots and then I can massage it in because they can't. It can't do anything to her brown hair because it's such a light color. It's such a demi-permanent light color that this, it couldn't possibly color any of her actual hair strands that were never hit. So, just going to lather it through, and when it's been 30 minutes, you'll see it again. Okay. Okay, we are completely done. So the rose gold didn't really take too much, so I wouldn't say this was the best. Um, it looks different. It's a little more brassy, and I can see in there the little tones. Um, as you can see before, her hair was just uh, the brown at the top, and now I added a lot of nice dimension. As you can see, a few I processed longer, um, so you can see the difference. But you can see kind of where the pink is at the top, 
And um, next time, maybe we'll hit it with some um, mint kind of color, like a green kind of mint after this. Great, so this was it. Um, I did, of course, wash and style her hair into a curl, um, but we'll see you guys next time.